So the Suns, after getting blown out by Atlanta at home, visit Boston. And they were spectacular. Michael Bridges hits it here. He was really great. They didn't start off well, but then they came alive just so easily, so effortlessly. They abused the Celtics tonight and defended them perfectly. Chris Paul gets the switch here for Jocelyn. Dale passes it to him in the post. Easy bucket over Jalen Brown. They were abusing them in the paint all night long. And the Celtics had a run in them, though, of course. 14 point isn't enough. Robert Williams hits the weird jump shot here. And we were heading with just a one point lead for the Suns over here into the fourth quarter. And the bench of the Phoenix Suns was absolutely spectacular. Damon Lee gives it back to Dario Saric, who hits the three-pointer. He was in the starting lineup tonight, but he was spectacular. And the bench, Damon Lee, Saban Lee, Ishvain Wright, and you had Jocelyn Dale. They were all spectacular. Michael Bridges here finishes it off, basically, 10-point lead. It was wraps after this. He was really good also tonight. And just a great win for the Suns, man. We'll get Devin Booker back so Soon. And the Suns cruise to a victory in Boston as they hold them to just 94 points. And, you know, like I said, the bench was absolutely spectacular. I just did not see, you know, Damian Lee, Saban Lee, Ish Wainwright and Jocelyn Day outplaying the Celtics bench. But here we are. They played with grit. They used their size really well and also shot just, you know, spectacularly. You got Damian Lee hitting three or four from the three point line. You got Saban Lee hitting one. 3 from Ish Wainwright, you know, of course Jock Landale was all of 3 from the 3 point line, but 4 of 8, you know, like I said, he feasted down low in there, he had 9.7 rebounds and 3 assists, Ish Wainwright with 9 points and 6 rebounds, Saban Lee had 7 points in 12 minutes, and Damien Lee had 11, 4 and 4 with 2 steals, just spectacular from them, and Dario Saric with 14 and 13, he did, didn't shoot like spectacular from the field, but he was 4 of 7 from the 3 point line, and he played really well, which, I mean, I have not seen Dario Saric play well in like 2 years, I would say, Say. So that was uh, interesting to see, right? And just a much needed win for the Suns after, you know, once again getting blown out. They have been better. Devin Booker should actually be back next week. I'm pretty sure they said he ta he's targeting Tuesday, I think. And that's going to be something for the Suns. And that should help them a lot. On the Celtics size, 20 points for Jason Tatum. He was 3 of 15. Not the best night for him. He just, you know, couldn't hit anything from the floor, which sometimes happens. The same goes for Al Horford. And same goes for everyone on the bench, even though they didn't take as many shots. But Malcolm Brogdon was horrible. 5 of 12, 12 points. Just one assist. Just that didn't have the impact he usually does have. And Grant Williams didn't have any impact also. He didn't score. And he just was abused all night it felt like and that was the biggest story of the night here but the Celtics are still fine just a horrible shooting night from just everywhere 29 they were 39 percent from the field 26 percent from the three-point line so yeah it's bound to happen at you know some point 